Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I know I'm looking a mess. Um, my eye a little red. I don't, I didn't go to sleep until like five. So that's probably why my eyes a little red. But um, yeah, today's moving day and I'm sorry if you can hear the washer. <laughs> but yeah, today's moving day for me for like the umpteenth time. Um, for those of you who do not know, I moved, I was living in Michigan, um, f doing my PhD program, and then when the pandemic hit, um, I had been in Michigan, so, uh, sorry, I'm all over the place, and I think that it's, like, reflective of, like, how I feel today, but anyway, <laughs> um, I was living in Michigan, and I moved to Michigan in 2016 from the Chicagoland area, started my PhD program. Um, when the pandemic hit, I, in I, like, everybody was just, like, not sure about, like, what was going to happen. So, I, I didn't, I, I knew at that time that I didn't want to be alone. So, I ended up coming home and I said, oh, I'll, I'll just, you know, go home for two weeks and then we'll come back and reassess. And that two weeks, literally, you guys, as some of you know, um, it turned into two years and so I've been back at home my mom um for these last two years and at first it was an adjustment but now it's like um it's like another adjustment to have to leave and anyway I'm sorry um I'm moving back to Michigan because I finished my PhD program and um, which I will talk about in another video <laughs> and I'm starting my new job and so today is moving day work orientation is tomorrow and I just kind of wanted to like come record my thoughts and share my thoughts with you all because um I am really just kind of like scared to be honest um I'm just not the same person that I was before the pandemic um which is a good thing right because you guys saw that I went through like a lot of different things on this channel y'all saw that so it's a good thing that I'm not the same person but it's just I don't know I just feel different you know I turn 30 next week and I'll talk about that in another video too I have emotions about that um but yeah, I'm just a little nervous because, you know, I think I think the best way to sum it up is like when you've been in school for so long and I've, and I've had different jobs like throughout, but just like I've been in school my entire life, you know. And so now it's like even I'm going to be working at a school, it's a little different because like now it's like really time to like live my life and... I just feel a little lost honestly like I feel like I don't really know usually when you have the structure of school like you know there's certain requirements that you have to meet in order to like finish something right and I'm so used to order and just looking at a list and just checking off things and um I think when you go out into the world, there's not necessarily, I'm, I'm aware that there's not a list, right? Like, you just have to live. And so I think a lot of that makes me nervous. But anyway, um, I wanted to just kind of feel myself, feel my emotions, and uh, just kind of catch this moment on camera. Um, what prompted this was like, I was going through like, um, makeup. Um, a lot of y'all know that I like makeup, right? Um, and before the pandemic, I was super into makeup. I wasn't like really that great at it, but I accidentally, I actually, you know, was into it. I wrote my whole, um, dissertation on the beauty community. Um, so like makeup is something that I'm super interested in, but I was going through my makeup bag because I needed another bag to like just carry stuff around and... I I just looked around and I just saw all the all these products and <laughs> I don't know I have a still and my first thought was like 
you know, it's been it's been in this bag for at least two years. I'm like, there's there's no way I'm putting this on my face, especially like now that I'm super like conscious about my health and about like anything on my face because I'm just like, you know, like we live in these COVID times. So I'm just super paranoid. So, um, you see, I just have old boxes in my ex boxes, Morphe, you know. I had a whole I had a whole lash thing which to my surprise all the lashes are used and I, I'm still not great at lashes so all I can see now all the lashes pretty much have mascara and like eye shadow and stuff on them um and yeah obviously I'm not gonna put this on my face especially like I don't know like yeah I'm not gonna put this on my face but anyway the whole point of this was like I was just going through this and I'm just like wow like obviously I'm gonna throw it away right but it was just like um I don't know maybe I'm making a big deal out of it but it was just kind of for me symbolizing like oh you're just you're throwing stuff away again you know you're gonna start anew start over you know if you're into makeup you can get some more makeup or whatever and so the fact that I was like I came down here to th throw my makeup away and um I was telling myself that I'll start over that just prompted me to make the video since I am like starting over in life um yeah so I'm gonna stop this video before I continue rambling I think I thought that I was just gonna like make one big vlog like one big um Oh, I'm moving vlog, but I think it actually might be better for me to do it like this where I can just be candid with you guys um, and break it up. Uh, also, I think that a lot of my emotions come from the fact that I procrastinated. So like my work orientation is tomorrow and... I'm not packed. If if you can hear that noise, that's the washer going. It's me literally washing clothes to pack because I haven't packed because I kind of been like dreading this move and just kind of like dreading the uncertainty of this move. So I put it off until the last minute and yeah. But yeah, um, as always, I kind of want to like make have my videos be constructive and um, one, of the, one of the things that I appreciate about my channel is that um, there's old, there's a lot of women who are older than me with more wisdom and more knowledge, you know, and more life experience. So if you guys have any advice about, I don't know why I'm getting emotional, I'm trying not to cry, but um, if you guys have any advice about like, and just to be clear, like it's not... This is not a bad thing. I'm just like, it's it's a really good thing, you know? It's just, um, y'all know me, I'm a crack baby. <laughs> but yeah, um, for the women out there who watch my channel, who um, have started over in life, have moved somewhere new, especially like if you're single and you move somewhere new where you don't really know anybody, any advice you have would be great. Um, I think the cool thing is like I'm moving back to Michigan and so I'm still going to be close to home and I'm still going to be close to Detroit where well I'm going to be two hours away so that's not close and I'm going to be two and a half hours away from home which is kind of not close but um it's close in my head because my other option was to move to Florida and I just no <laughs> I wasn't mm, not we weren't, we weren't doing that so um I'm still close to a community like I won't be like completely isolated but it's just that I've never lived in this part of Michigan before so if you have any advice about how you've navigated moving I would like welcome that for sure um yeah and if you're into makeup tell me what makeup you're into these days um, I think that like, I have to build my up, build my way up to doing a full face. Cause I haven't done a full face in like years, obviously. Cause I've been in the house for two years. Right. But yeah, so I think I'll just start off slow, but yeah, that's all I'll say in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.